Hi, guys. Welcome back to our channel. Did you meet the situation that your iPhone keeps turning on and off recently? Let's solve it in today's video. First, I'll explain why this happens. Reason 1. Update failed. If you recently attempted to update your iPhone to the new iOS, but suddenly and the process stopped, it could result in the problem of the iPhone shutting off and back on repeatedly. Reason 2. Battery health. Your device may have recently been submerged in water, or your device fell from a height. It might also cause your battery damaged. Reason 3. Hardware problem. For example, the power button on your iPhone may be bad, or it does not work normally, and it may cause your iPhone to start turning on and off. Don't freak out, we will help you. Method 1. Force restart your iPhone. To force restart, for iPhone 6 and older models, press and hold the power button, as we all as the home button together, until the Apple logo appears on the screen. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, Press and hold the power button and the volume down button until the Apple logo appears. For iPhone 8 and later, press and then quickly release the volume up button. And do the same with the volume down button. Now press the side button until the Apple logo appears and the device restarts. Method 2. Check battery health. Once your iPhone is turning on and you can access to the home screen, the first thing you need to do is to check your iPhone battery health. Tap on settings. Go to battery. Tap on battery health. Battery health provides two key pieces of information. The maximum charging capacity of your battery and peak performance capability. The battery health section will also tell you if your battery is at a point where it needs to be replaced. If the warning message pops up, you might probably get a chance that your iPhone will keep turning on and off. Method 3. Reset all settings. If iPhone battery is healthy, it might have something to do with the system. You can consider reset all the settings on your iPhone. Tap on settings. Tap general. Scroll down to and tap on reset. Choose the option to reset all settings. Tap to confirm that you want to reset all settings on your iPhone. Your device should reboot automatically when the reset is finished. Method 4. Repair iPhone with Reiboot, no data loss. After trying all of the methods above, and your iPhone continues to go on and off, then it is time for you to try this method. We introduce to you a reliable and efficient tool Tenorshare Reiboot. It will not lead to data loss on your phone. Reboot is an iOS system repair tool, which fixes more than 150 plus iOS system issues. You can check the download link in the description and download it. Once finished installed, connect your iPhone to PC. Open Reiboot. Click the green start button. Then choose standard repair. Here Reiboot will download the firmware that matches your iPhone. Just click it. The download process will not be long, depending on your network condition. Then, click on the Start Standard Repair. Reiboot will start to repair your iPhone. You need to wait for a little while. Please be patient and do not disconnect your iPhone during the process. Then it is done. You can see, your iPhone is back to the normal state again. I can access it without any problem. And all my data is still there. It's very easy. Okay, so this is the solution for iPhone unusual screens issues. Hope you like it. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you succeed in one of the methods. If you like this video, you can subscribe us. Stay tuned for our next videos.